It's Rachel Granger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're in Hollywood at the book launch of Life Lessons of a Total Failure. Sure. My best friend's in college named Rachel. So I'm off to a good start. Yeah, you're off to a good, great start. I love that you're wearing a leather jacket and it's zipped up, and you just completely unfazed by the heat of this carpet. No. I, I, you know, well, I was outside for, for a second. So, so maybe you'll just start sweating through all the I'm layers while we're talking. Immediately. Maybe I'll do it in the interview. How about, ooh, yeah, just slowly, <laughs> like, slowly just build tension, right make Right there, them. yeah. Oh, Oh, and then there's a shirt. Whoa. Hey, where's the shirt? It's all the way down, not a crop top. <laughs> Surprising. This is, true. this is true, yeah. So you, I mean, first of all, for 90210, do you yeah. ever say that you're, on, that you're on that and be like, is that kind of a weird sentence for you to say? I feel yeah, like, it's on 90210. Yeah. I think it's weird because I feel like my my mom watched the original 90210 when it came out. And, um, and but it was such a fun thing to be on and, and, um, and kind of, feels like one of those things I grew up in South Carolina so it's like one of those things that like growing up in South Carolina you know you always heard the zip code 90210 and it feels kind of extra cool that I got to be on it so yeah That's fun it's such a fun group of people to work with oh yeah. of course but I mean like I think about I'm from a small town in Seattle oh and see yeah it, uh, so I think about it, and I think, or in Washington, I just I was going to say, in Seattle. I was like, a small town in Seattle. Yeah, it's an underpass community. Like <laughs> Did you see street me? street residents. I was trying to be polite about that. <laughs> and I was just like, I missed up the word, and he's going to think I'm incompetent unless I go back and fix it. But we've corrected it now. I'm from Puyallup, Washington. Yeah. <laughs> 40 minutes south of Seattle, Washington. I can definitely say I don't know where that is. <laughs> no one does. We have a fair, though. Okay. Okay. Fairs are good. I like okay. the Ferris yeah. wheel, the whole thing. Yeah. The thing involving yeah. fairs. So when you say things like 90210, it's like, oh, my God. Like, sure. California. Those girls were more tan in that town than they were in anybody I've ever seen here. Yeah. They are, they are, they are very well tanned. Because they use all the spray machines because that's the like their machine. idealistic life that's is the right. 90210, yeah. you know? That's right. The 90210 sun-kissed glow. Yeah. In Puyallup. Yeah. In where? Puyallup? Pew? Okay. Yeah, Pew. What's oh. that? I know I it's going to make like buzzer. We should have like a spelling down at the oh, bottom. We need Pew subtitles Alla. for this. <laughs> all of my, I feel like I should put, do you ever feel like when you're doing social media, you should start doing subtitles now? Because all that, all those videos have subtitles right. on Facebook? Well, also for all the, the made up words that are on there. Slanisms? There needs to be like a key. You know? How am I supposed to decode this interview that's full of great stuff if I don't know what you're talking that's about? That's right. That's right. People are going to have to decode this interview. They're gonna, it'll be like the <laughs> National Treasure. They'll like flip it over. There's more. There's, There's more. more. And Nick Cage yeah, yeah. will come in in the last minute that's and right. save us all. Yeah, he's coming in any minute right Nick, now. Nick, stay, I think we got to wrap. Con Air is coming, <laughs> just coming in hot with that sweet mullet. That's right. Absolutely. Um, what's one of the most just warming feelings that you get? when you are working with something that has to do with the Trevor Project. Right, well, this is super exciting to come out to this. I just did a movie called Love Is All You Need. Which, that was my lead-in for yeah, you. To, yeah, well, was that you did that right. Did that well. No, uh, I did this movie called Love Is All You Need, which is a um, Romeo and Juliet kind of of our generation, um, but uh, set in a world where gay is straight, straight is gay, and it confronts bullying and is inspired by, uh, inspired by true events like the killing of Matthew Shepard and the Westboro Baptist Church and, uh, and the death of Tyler Clemente. Some really powerful, powerful stories in there. Um, I play the bully in the film, um, so uh, you may not like me when you see the movie, but remember this fun interview we just did? Because he's personable. I'm Please personable. don't send him hate mail. Yes, exactly. Have you heard about those villains where they've gotten hate mail like oh, yeah. from their people? They're pissed about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, we, don't do that. We've screened it kind of in a couple areas of the country, and sometimes I get booed when I come on. But how cool is that, though? Because you have to be really intensely aware of your own dark shadows and what we can do as human beings to face and be a villain. Well, look, I, I have to say I was so thrilled to be a part of the story, and the and the, the truth of it is is that the movie is telling a story that needs to be told and it's confronting issues that the Trevor Project deals with every single day and to be involved in something that hopefully moves the conversation in the right direction and, and, and gets people to look at uh, things through a lens of empathy and through um, a lens of the things that connect us instead of the things that divide us. Um, that was really special for me and um, I can't wait for more people to see the film and, and hopefully get involved in uh, in organizations like the Trevor Project and feel moved to do so. Yeah, I think I love that you said through, through a 
view of, of empathy. A lens of empathy, right. That's a brilliant way to put Which it. Right I love now, that. I mean, if you look at, even in our news cycle, there's so much what seems like hatred towards other there's people. A lot of pain, people hurting people. Right. Yep. And it just hurts so much for people who are like, that isn't going to fix what's going on. Right. And that's, right. But again, you have to face your own pain in order to stop the cycle, though. Right, exactly. And I think it takes, you know, uh, allies to, you know, we all need to be an ally of equal rights for all, for all people, um, no matter the difference. So this movie, you know, really made me see the work that still needs to be done and also, uh, you know, to have hope that, that those things can happen. And uh, yeah. so I'm excited to be here tonight and to learn more and, and right. to do whatever I can to spread the message. Yeah. Congrats on everything. Yeah. I look forward to seeing your film. Absolutely. This was just Rachel. the funnest. Yeah. Rachel, yeah, you thank say, you. You say sticking around? Yes. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I'm going to we'll get drunk later. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what's the hardest thing you've had to overcome.